When it comes to college education, many strange facts, myths, and figures have created a mystique, an image that isn't always correct and seldom is helpful. We will present some facts about college in the U.S., mainly for in-person four-year colleges. The idea is to remind you that many of your conceptions about college education are skewed. The statistics presented in this video are from 2022, and if you go to our website, which is linked below, you can find all the resources we used for this video. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Strange College Facts. Did you know? 14 of the 25 largest stadiums in the world are on U.S. college campuses. There are 50 all-female and 4 all-male colleges. 57% of college students are female. In 1842, Oberlin College was the first school to have women graduates. That same school, Oberlin College, was the first school to have a female African-American graduate. That happened in 1861. Kermit the Frog gave a commencement address at Southampton College in 1996. When it comes to college applications, three quarters of applicants are accepted at their first choice school. The University of California, Los Angeles, or UCLA, receives the greatest number of applications every year, about 150,000. They have an acceptance rate of 8.9%. There are colleges with a 100% acceptance rate, such as CSU Bakersfield, West Virginia State University, Wayne State College, Broward College, and many more. Businessman Michael Bloomberg, while attending Johns Hopkins University, not only designed and built the Blue Jay mascot costume, he also wore it in the 1960s. The colleges that cost the most are pushing $90,000 a year. The least expensive college comes in at just over $6,000 a year. Vermont is the state with the highest average tuition rate for colleges. In 1804, the College of Rhode Island tuition rate was $5. Today, 85% of all college students receive financial aid with the average amount awarded being $15,000. For those of you who want an excellent reason to do your best in high school, 43% of financial aid awarded by colleges is merit aid. 42% of students graduate without any student debt. For those who hold debt, the average student debt upon graduation is $30,000. Students from families with lower incomes are more likely to drop out than those from families with higher incomes. First-generation students also have a higher dropout rate. The most extensive academic library in the world is at Harvard University with more than 15 million volumes. In a six-year window, 62.3% of students who start college graduate. The average age of college students is 26. Overall, there is a 50-50 split between full-time and part-time students. The term Ivy League was first coined to disparage those schools' inept football teams. The name stuck and is now used to complement those eight colleges with high prestige and low acceptance rates. The largest population of college students came in 2010 with 21 million undergraduate, graduate, and international students registered in four-year colleges. In 2022, that number was closer to 19 million. The population of high school graduates is expected to continue to drop over the next decade, so college attendance numbers should fall as well. Arizona State is the largest in-person college in the U.S. with about 65,000 students. The smallest schools have closer to 50 total students, like Northwestern Polytechnic University with 52 students. The most popular college majors are business, medicine-related fields, and social studies or history. For community college associate degrees, the most off-selected majors are general studies, health-related professions, and business. And those attending trade schools often choose to learn to be a plumber, electrician, pharmacy technician, or paralegal. Within the population of Americans over the age of 25, 21% of Hispanic Americans hold a college degree. Within the black community, that number is 28%. With whites, it is 42%. And with Asian American community, 61% of people over the age of 25 have earned a college degree. A Stanford student has won an Olympic medal in every Olympic game since 1908. There are about 3.5 million individuals who work as faculty or staff members in colleges throughout the U.S. Of those, 1.5 million people are in teaching positions. 
The average faculty salary is $65,000 a year. The male-female split represented in faculty members is pretty much 50-50. The average age of instructors is 46 years old. 66% are white, 11% are Asian, 10% are Latino, and 7% are black. The LGBT population is represented by 16% of college instructors. A student attending MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, can complete archery, fencing, sailing, and pistol or rifle classes and be awarded a pirate's license. That doesn't give you authority to commit crimes on the high seas, but it is a cool note to put on your resume. Earning a bachelor's degree will help you earn more than $800,000 in your life over those whose highest degree is a high school diploma. And there are more than 4,000 colleges in the U.S. Strange programs, facts, and opportunities exist on every campus. Find the best campus, major, and financial situation for you and earn your degree. Please feel free to share more strange college facts with us in the comments below. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.